Hey everybody, Mrs. Van Pelt here. I want to share something super exciting today. So it says here that today is Tuesday, May 5th, 2020, but you probably hear people celebrating Cinco de Mayo. Well, let me tell you about that. Over 150 years ago, there was something very exciting that happened with our uh, friends in Spanish cultures. On May 5th, 1862, the Mexican army was able to have a victory over the French empire at the Battle of Puebla. And they were led by their general, Ignacio Sargoza. Now that was really important to them. They, they earned back um, their cultures. They were able to take care of themselves and not have someone tell them what to do and rule them. So they were able to have that great victory. So when we are talking about Cinco de Mayo, just know there was a great victory that people were able to take back who they were and be themselves. Okay. If you want to Google that and learn a little bit more and you want to share with us, you can drop that right down here in the comments. But Cinco de Mayo is a pretty special day. Um, so here's what we're going to be doing today. Morning meeting, our reading passage. Uh, I'm going to show you the new agenda again because it's going to be new this week. Our writing. Don't forget to look for those code words to add to your morning meeting comments. And here, any other work that you have, any paperwork, any of the word families, the letter tracing, the math days, uh, anything like that, the ELA um, stuff that's in your packets, continue doing them if you don't have anything else to do. Continue to do that and we can drop them off or pick them up whenever you guys are done. But your must do's are to go online and let's talk about that again. So everyone's looks like this, but your information is a little different. You'll have things that are either circled or not there. So let's get in here a little bit closer on Moby Max. Not everybody is doing Moby Max. Hopefully yesterday you were able to get on and do some of those parts. Everybody is doing Seesaw. Now these two days are similar. So if you um, were able to complete two of what looks like ELA, reading assignments, spelling, if you did two yesterday, there should be two or three more. I gave you extra just so you could make your choice. They're all acceptable to do. Um, then you should be reading two books today. Your morning meeting. When you're done here, go to another video. We're gonna have some other cool ones up there. Now don't forget, here something will be circled. If you have a, a 9.30, you're gonna meet me in Zoom room at 9.30. If yours is at 10 o'clock, I'll meet you at 10. So you should have something circled here on your page and continue checking out that plant observation. Don't forget in your morning meetings, code word and your initials. Okay. And you can continue with all that other stuff that I gave you and I'll collect it. If you want to do it, I can think about giving you some extra um, tickets for a Walmart drawing that we have coming up. Just let me know. All right, here we go. Hopefully you have your white board pen ready. Oh, it's not Monday anymore. My lips are still not working right today. All right, here we go. Uh, so yesterday we knew that we were into a new month. Do you guys remember the date or the number of that new month? If you're not sure, go back and check on your chart or do your months of the year. I'll do that one today with you guys. Ready? So we're going to have January, February, March, April, May. 
how many yeah and I might have moved my hand too fast sorry friends it is five May is the fifth month what about days gone that's a five also and your year great let's go over that again that looks silly okay I'm gonna take this away today's number what do you think it's gonna be great I'm gonna green tab this one you need to write the word five listen closely I five we're just gonna move on through this if you need to stop pause your video finish what you want and then join us when you're ready we're gonna tallies remember bundles of five look like that jump on down to place it we have ones tens and hundreds where does that five go five goes right here in the ones are there any tens and what about hundreds you can leave it blank you put an X just so you knew you asked yourself those questions move on over to frame it when you're ready how many will we put in frame it you're right five Now that we're done there, I know not everyone does fractions, but let's go ahead and do it anyway. We want to know how many parts of. How many is a 10 frame worth? And how many parts are we using? Go ahead and count what you put here. How many parts are we using? We are using five parts of that 10 or five pieces. Okay, remember this is your responsibility and one math problem. So I'll put the five inside. What comes before? What comes after? Let's work our way right back up here to our green tab. If you didn't have a chance to write five, put your pause on. Go ahead and try it now. If you're not sure, just stay with us and write it after. Just make sure you're doing it. Here's the sounds. I. Now if this says its name, there's an E here or a vowel. That's going to let that I say her name. Now, if you're not caught up, put that pause button on. Okay, let's move right over here. You're uh, responsible to make one up for yourself. I'm going to do another times one. I'm going to have one. group of five. So I'm gonna have one group of five. All right, if you're not sure, pause this video, join us over here for days of the week when you're ready. All right. So 
So we're gonna do days of the week. Get all my stuff over here. So the first day of the week that we usually would talk about, the beginning of it would be Sunday. After Sunday, do you know what comes next? Monday. After Monday is Tuesday. Great. After Tuesday is Wednesday. Which I know you can't see it all. After Wednesday is Thursday. After Thursday is Friday. There we go. And after Friday is Saturday. Okay. So what did we already say today was? What was the day of the week? Tuesday. Okay. So I'm going to take my Tuesday. What's tomorrow going to be? After Tuesday is Wednesday. And this one was what was yesterday? So if Tuesday was here, what was yesterday? Monday. Fantastic. So that's what your days of the week board should look like. You can work with that a little bit if you would like. When you're done, make sure you have a pencil and paper handy because we're going to go right to our code word when we come back. So since we're celebrating Cinco de Mayo, I thought we would put the word taco and the coolest thing ever, it's Tuesday. So it's going to be a Taco Tuesday. So don't forget to write your code word and your initials. The code word is taco. Okay, you'll see this one more time before our morning meeting ends. Go ahead and grab out your reading passage. Yesterday, you were going to mark your text, fill in your 10 frames, and find the answer. Well, I'm going to do it while we're right here together. So what was the most important thing that we knew if it's going to be adding or subtracting? What word was so important? Left. That means we had some, in this case, it's pencils, some pencils broke. Now we want to know what's left. So it says we had 15 to start. So I'm going to color this really fast. I know a 10 frame has 10. And then I need to add five more. Okay. So I know my 10 frame has 10. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Got enough. And it said seven of them broke. Seven broke. So I'm going to get rid of seven. I already know this is five. So I can get rid of one, two, three, four, five, I have to go in my 10 frame, six, seven. Now whatever's left, we're going to put in this box. How many did you have left? If you didn't do that part and you're just catching up, pause this video and come back when you're ready. For the rest of you, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You should have an eight here. You know, I'm not I'm gonna mark that out because I would not like that eight from you. So let me do my eight a little bit better. There we go. Okay. Jump on down to your number line. So the numbers that we have are 8, 7, 15. Where will we start on our number line? Remember, it's a subtraction, so we have to start a specific way. 
perfect. We're going to start on the 15 because it's the biggest number in subtraction. How many pencils broke? Okay, seven broke. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Where are you at? Circle that number. Do these match? They do. Okay, so today's job is to read again. See if you know anything here. Tomorrow we'll read it as a group. Do your number bond. Who's the captain? Who are the co-captains? And we'll take care of all this tomorrow. Okay, let's get this word right in here again. This is the last time you'll see it today, so make sure you're checking it out. In the comments for our morning meeting, your word is taco. Okay. Write to journals. So we're on this page, I will build. If you're in this booklet, I will build. Looks like he's building a sand castle. What else could he build? Could you write something else? He will build. What else can he build? If this is your journal, if you marked all your text, have someone help you read this. Even if it's just the words you know. Today I'm going to turn it over. We're going to look down here at the bottom at your vocabulary words. Clouds, flower, mixture, seed, energy, growth, plant, water. Now this one's not going to be too tricky to write your story about what you use in a garden. We're doing our garden bags, so you'll have a lot of information even from your data that you're drawing your pictures, writing your words, you could use that over here in your story. Make sure you've done your flower pot and color it. See, I told you these are gonna go a little bit faster, everybody. So don't forget, we'll review this again. It's the 5th, so it'll give you the day of the week, the date, the 5th, what you need to do, math assessment if you're in Moby Max. Everyone's doing Seesaw to ELA or spelling assignments. In Epic Books, two books to read. If they have questions for you, you can answer it there. You're in the morning meeting. Make sure you put that clue word in the comments. Watch one more video of your choice. There's lots of cool ones. There's some science. There's um, a walk through Ace Hardware. There's some other ones coming up. If today's your day for Zoom, don't forget 930, 10 o'clock. Which one is circled? That's when you're going to be joining me. And keep looking at that plant observation. And can you use that information you're gathering if you're in the journal of Abby's flower garden, can you use that information over there? Okay, everybody. I hope you're enjoying the online activities. Some of these jobs are super fun. If you have any questions, put in the comments below, dojo, email, call. It's a little tricky at first, but it's going to be super fun. Thank you everybody for joining me here today. Happy single day, my own. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.